how fluid do you think vision is? And then how often should people be coming back to this, reflecting on it, reminding themselves of this vision? So I think it's a, a twofold response. Um, the analogy or metaphor that I think here is both morning pages or daily journaling as contrasted and complemented with a captain's log. So from Star Trek, I'm a little bit of a nerd that, hey, this really big event happened. Let's sit down and unpack that, create an artifact for the future of my thinking. So I can, with the benefit of hindsight, go back and say, how can my thinking be improved? Where the journaling every day is, every day is a snapshot of where I am and you never know what you're going to get. But also there are times in your life that the, there's a little bit more material. It's a little bit richer in terms of experience. So using, hey, like, wow, that was, that was wild or that was unexpected in a good or a bad way and using that as a prompt to write about. So I would say the same type of thing. In an ideal scenario, this would be something that you return to any time that you're stuck or unsure of what to do next, which happens fairly often these days. But the challenge that comes with this is you need this metacognition of, am I stuck? Maybe I feel like I know what I'm doing. I feel like things are going pretty well. Maybe I don't actually need this. And it's hard to see that type of thing from the inside. And we'll tend to justify the status quo. It's like, oh, I don't actually don't need this reflection. So ideally, it's a as needed type activity. But I found even personally, it can be difficult to prescribe something like this to yourself. So I recommend committing to a regular cadence where no matter how well, how poorly things are going, this is something you can come back to and you'll learn something new every time. For me, that cadence is every quarter. I go through this, this exercise. I recommend at a minimum once a year. Two good prompts for this is, hey, the end of the year. You had the nice thing about the end of the year is not that, hey, the first two weeks of the year, everything in your life is going to change. and You're going to do all those things that you didn't actually do December 31st, magically on January 1st. Anyone who's been to the gym on the first week of the year knows that's not true. But both, there's a turning of the page. You're closing the container on the previous year and you're starting fresh. But also this is a time of year that things are, you're a little bit more reflective naturally. You're probably spending time like away from the office and it's just like, you'll have a little bit more spaciousness to like give this the time and thought away from your normal context that this deserves. Another one that I actually like a lot as well is your birthday. So, Hey, your birthday is just a complete random day. It's nothing changes on that day other than, you know, Hey, I was, you know, in my case, 34 years, 11 months, 29 days, and now I'm what plus one. And hey, I turn the calendar, but it's a day that we're just naturally reflective because of this process of like another year around the sun. I'm a little bit one day older than I was before. Am I living the life that I want? Those are two good places to start if you want to do it once a year, you know, birthday, turn of the calendar. But really, the more the merrier. The nice thing about these exercises, again, I do them all the time. Every time I come back to them, I learn something new. I try to treat it as one of the most important things that I can do because it reminds me of what's the most important to me. It keeps me aligned to that. Again, the worst thing in the world would be to spend my life doing a bunch of things that weren't important to me because I never took a minute to reflect. That would just be a total travesty. So yeah, that's why I really try to prioritize this type of stuff.